Hello everyone and thank you for joining me on this lovely summer day. In today's video, I would like to share with you the story how I grew to be a passionate gardener. We will also do a few fun activities together. I will teach you how to make your own happiness diary, we will prepare a rosemary infused oil and I will show you how I create a painting on a woodcut. If someone told me 10 years ago that I would become a passionate gardener, I wouldn't believe it. I grew up as a city girl, living most of my life in the apartment building, with a single potted flower slowly wilting on my windowsill. At my post-university life, I was growing more home plants, because it was a budget way to make my rental apartment look cozier. But eventually, I started caring for my home plants' well-being and was eager to propagate and learn more about botany. What started with three flowers and a very practical idea to save money on home decor grew into 30 different potted plants and became an exciting hobby. And when I couldn't fit my ambition into the pots anymore, we moved to our own house, where I could arrange a tiny garden in our backyard. And then gardening became something different something more. Working the land was one of the few activities that helped me to heal when I was dealing with the emotional trauma. Being in the open air around flowers, fixing my attention on actions like cutting ivy or putting sprouts into the ground helped me to let go of my concerns, calm my anxiety and lift it away from my heart and mind. touching the rough leaves or delicate flower petals, digging my fingers into the soil, I was feeling more alive and open to the new ideas than I ever felt before. And it motivated me to acquire new knowledge. I was taken by the idea to grow a herbal garden. And as a beginner gardener who is learning from her failures, I decided to keep notes of my journey. For that purpose, I made myself a lovely vintage stylized notebook, where I could sketch, attach dry flowers and write gardening advice for myself. And that's how I crafted my herbal diary. I was always bewitched by herbs, by their fresh woody fragrances and their culinary properties. And I was eager to try the homegrown herbs in my cooking. Today I will show you how I make rosemary infused oil. Something that I used to buy, but now can make myself.
After a long and exciting day in the garden, let's make a cold glass of lemonade, sit back and enjoy the process of creating a lovely flowery painting. I'm wishing you a lovely day and hope to see you soon again.